Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman. And in this series, we are, will go back to where it all started. And this time round, we will focus on completing as many of the challenges as we can on each and every one of the primary Hitman targets. With maybe a few interesting bonus kills on the way. So today we are in Santa Fortuna for the Hallowed Ground Challenge which entails pushing free construction workers into a pit whilst disguised as the Shaman. So for this challenge we will need to create a contract of our very own for which I have done and the contract ID is currently up on the screen for anyone who wishes to have a crack at this. So these are our three targets, all must be pushed into a pit whilst disguised as the Shaman and just for an added little bonus, only one exit is available. So for today's challenge we will be starting at the Shaman's Hut and the only item we will need to be bringing with us will be a silenced pistol and I should point out that I have not yet managed to attempt this as a silent assassin, so we're going to embrace the John Wick approach to this challenge. So right from the start and off the bat, we need to acquire ourselves the Shaman's outfit. So we're going to make our way into the bushes, pull out our silence pistol and eliminate the Shaman and his guest. The Doubting Thomas guest that is. The others are completely oblivious. So we're going to take the shaman's outfit and we now have a very very long trek from one end of the map to the other and we are heading for the construction site. Now be aware that whilst disguised as the shaman you do attract a number of followers which is why we are running all the way to minimize that amount because if we was to walk we would have about 10 people behind us following us everywhere we go. Now fortunately for us I only acquire myself one follower along my route and they are not allowed past these two guards up ahead here. So once we make it onto the construction site we're going to make our way to the very rear of the site here and just around in this concrete area here we will find ourselves a crowbar that will come in handy later on and then from here we're going to make our way around to the toilets facilities which are these porta loos here and at this point we need to strategically remove about eight people starting with this guy and the guard who is with him and at each point uh, I am going to do a lot of hiding in the nearby dumpster that is just here but before we dive in there I believe we can locate at least one more person before we go now, unfortunately he is now fallen out of sight so we're just going to jump into our dumpster we're going to wait for all of the panic to calm down and all of the bodies to be cleaned away and everyone to go back to their usual routines so there is a gentleman who frequents this office here, we're going to take care of him real quick and the gentleman we missed earlier out the window. So those bodies will now be discovered, so it's back in the dumpster we go and once again wait for everyone to go back to their usual routines. So we have uh, about seven more people I believe to take out in fact I'm lying it's closer to 10 starting with this guy and uh, see if we can take out the two in the distance there before we have to once again run to our dumpster now the reason we are diving into the dumpster after every couple of kills is we do not want to be spotted this would be a lot harder if we had been compromised so we have two more guys in this area both sitting down just by the toilets here we'll take them out quickly as well and once again back into our dumpster so we have three more people we need to eliminate uh, who will potentially become witnesses when we go for our targets 
and they are on the far side of the construction site the first of which is right where we picked up the crowbar and there is a guard there you may have spotted him when we went past the first time so we're gonna take him out real quick there's another guard in the distance there who we just happen not to kill straight away and he's gonna get some shots off unfortunately none of his shots landed and all of mine did so we just want to get this last worker here that's that and once again we are going to retreat to a dumpster and we're going to wait here for the final time mostly for uh, everyone to go back to their usual business and we can now focus on our targets and as you can see there they all are so we have two targets sitting at the pit and the foreman is our third target who is over there having a cigarette and as soon as the foreman moves away from his spot we're going to dive through this window or what will be a window one day if we haven't killed all of the workers off which i believe we haven't i believe there will be one left alive somewhere so once the foreman moves away we're just gonna push the guy on the left into the pit there and then we're gonna run to one of the dumpsters or one of the hiding spots that we have and again we are just gonna wait here for everyone to go back to their normal routine and we are now finally done with hiding in a bin so we're just gonna take up our position once again by the window in the construction or the partially built building and again the foreman is once again having a cigarette if we wait long enough we might not have to kill him he's gonna die of lung cancer but again once he moves away we can just basically rinse and repeat what we did before by diving through the window and pushing the second construction worker into the pit so we're gonna go round to the doorway this time and let's be a bit more civilized before we kill someone and then we're gonna dive through the window off to our right and we're just gonna wait here now and eventually the foreman will make his way over to this area and he will stand just in front of us here at the pit edge and we can dive through the window and push him through the or down the pit so that's all three of our targets taken care of and that will get us the unhallowed ground challenge and now we're going to utilize the crowbar that we collected by busting open the door to the shipping container and in the back of this room we will find the scooter keys and we now basically just need to make our way over to the bar where the scooter is located and make good our escape so there we go that is the the hallowed ground challenge taken care of unfortunately not a silent assassin run i have been anubis and i will see you all in the next video